Hi everyone, quick video to show you how to use the Adobe XD plugin with Localize. So one great um, thing with this plugin is that it can be used at different stage of your localization workflow. So first of all, you can create it, uh, you can use it, sorry, to create keys and export them to Localize. So that will be a great way to for the translator to have more visual context about the keys that need to be translated. Then in Localize, you can start to work on translation thanks to the translation and revision tasks. And when the translation are ready, you can uh, import them back to Adobe XD. And that will be a great way for the designer to see how the translation fits in the design and also prevent any potential bug regarding the, the translation. So I will start here by so the settings option. So that's the first step to connect your Adobe XD project with Localize. So you can, if you want, create a new project or select an existing one. So in that case, I will create a new project. I will name it like this, Adobe XD demo select one specific team add the source language of the design and the associated platform then you have the possibility as well to select the key naming pattern that you can see here there's a, a long list of uh, different combination or you can also decide to don't generate any name that can be relevant if for example you have already one existing project in localize and you need just to sync the, the design with the existing keys. So for this example, I will just take something simple. And then also last option, uh, it will be a way to sync the, the formatting with, with, with localize. And this information will be reverted back at the importing stage. So save. And now you can see on the left hand side, two options. So push and pull. Push means that we will um, export the translation keys to, to localize. And then pull means that we need to import the translation back to, to Adobe XD. So let's start by the push section. So you can see a set of options. First of all, we have the view on the number of elements that have been selected for this for for this uh, frame so there's there are 30, 31 elements then you have the possibility to match the existing value with the keys in localize so that can be relevant if the project if there are an existing project in in localize and you just need to to link the key the, the frame then you can also create missing keys so in that case it will be relevant because there is nothing in our project then a very cool feature is to link uh, existing, I mean, is to link. Um, then one very cool feature is to link duplicate strings into one key. So for example, what we can see here on this, the, on the frame, on the right frame is that uh, sign up is shown at the top left at the bottom. So what can be done is to merge is two information into one key. Then we have also the possibility to add tags. So for example, you can, it can be a version, it can be time stepping, so, or just simply source Adobe XD. And the, the two following options, mostly if you need to overwrite information in localize, so it can be done for the translation itself, or also the screenshot, means that the screenshot that you're going to push now will be the one in, in localize. And finally, if there is some hidden element in your design, you can add them to, to the export. So then you confirm. And you will see very shortly information about the, the export. So we saw that the 31 elements were selected, 25 keys created is because we merged some of them. And then four screenshots have been uh, updated. So now I go back to my localized project to show you 
how it looks like now. So what you can see here is my project Adobe XD. So it took the title that I've mentioned in the first settings. You see that now all the keys are visible based and they are using So now I go back to my localized project and what I can see here is my uh, the project that I've created from Adobe XD. So I click here to see more details. So you can see the title that I've selected and you see all the information now visible. So the key name pattern that is uh, replicated to all the keys, the tags that I've created, the platform, so iOS and Android. And also something that is very interesting with this uh, plugin is the, is the screenshot. So we can see that the screenshot now are available. And you see for each of them, one part is highlighted. That's where uh, the translation need to fit into the design. So that is a great way for a translator to know where the design fits and based on that provide with the, um, the best, uh, the best translation. So one very cool feature is to filter the, the keys by screenshot. So here you have an icon, you can see all the screenshots that are available to this project. And if you click to one of them, what will happen is that only the keys that are assigned to this frame will be shown. So that is great if, for example, you what your translator is only focused on one specific frame it will be, it will have then the, the keys that are only assigned to this specific area. Then for this example, what I will do is to add, so translation. So I will, for example, use French and to go a bit faster, I will leverage the translation memory. So basically the system will scan the existing source language and see if if he has been translated in the past. So for this example, I want to ensure that there is a hundred percent match to have the, trans the, the string translated in a specific language. So now you can see on this case, I have all my keys that are translated, which means that now my translation are ready for to be imported back to Adobe XD. So to do it, it's very simple. So what you need to do is this time click on pull, confirm, and then you need to switch the language to see how your design fit in the other languages. So in that case, I will try French. And now what I see is the design translated in the language. So it's a good way to see if there is some things that need to be changed. So in that case, everything looks fine, but you might have sometimes the case when the design go a bit, go a bit over some specific areas. So it's a good way to, to check, uh, to check that. So I hope this uh, demo was useful to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.